everybody. I'm back to cutting tiles, and this is the last tile for the bathroom upstairs. And this has gone really, really well. It's great when you have a tool that makes a kind of impossible job cutting through tile easy. It's been uh, really working out really, really well. And I've learned a little bit since I've started. Uh, first thing is that nothing plugs up these respirator masks like this dust. This dust is so fine. I'm already feeling that it's uh, there's a lot of labor breathing through this mask. This is the last tile, so I'm going to squeeze it out. But you definitely piss through these masks. Like if I was going to be cutting tile all day, I'd probably want to change masks at least once midday. So definitely want to have a, a supply of these masks if you're going to be doing this. The hearing protection, very important. I'm not going to put that on yet because I'm going to start yelling once I put that on. Eye protection, really important. And also uh, this, I found having a, uh, a little broom to clean your tile off, not only can it make it easier to see your lines later on because you want to make sure you can actually see where you're cutting, but also you want to get these things as clean as possible before you bring them in and you're going to be gluing them down. You don't want to be trying to glue onto a dirty, dusty surface because then the glue's not going to adhere. So I'm going to finish up this cut and, uh, and then this will be the last tile right here. One thing I gotta make sure I don't do is cut through the the brick. I cut here, and then we're done. There's a piece I needed. I'm gonna get rid of that. It's still dusty here. I'm gonna let the dust clear before I pull the mask. You can see how much easier this is than uh, well, what I was doing yesterday. I was I was rubbing them on my shirt, and uh, you know that's great and all, but your shirt gets dirty pretty quickly. And it's really this back surface that you want to get nice and clean, and the sides because this is where the grout's gonna go. So you want these two guys to be. Nice and clean. I can kind of jiggle the grout in there and get it nice and wet, and I'm sure I can get that to work, but really it's the glue. I want these guys to glue down because uh, the last time I paid someone to do a tiling project, they didn't, they didn't put enough mastic down, the mastic didn't adhere to the tiles, and they were jiggling and cracking the grout between them. So that's something you definitely want to make sure that you do properly. So for today, I'm going to be gluing these tiles in, and uh, I think I'm going to get one more of the ceiling joist stained uh, on the lower level. That might, that might be it for the day, but, uh, things continue to move. My dad was doing a bunch of uh, electrical, uh, outlet box cutting yesterday, and, uh, you know, it's a slow process, but every day you get a little closer. But to be honest, this week I've, I felt kind of daunted by how much, uh, how much there is to do. It's a lot. It's a lot. But, uh, we're getting there. That's it. Thanks for watching.